Good morning, I'm Andrea Decker and today I'm finally going to share how I do my short hair. I've gotten so many requests over the years for me to share a video of exactly what I do to style my hair and I've never really done it, but today I decided let's give it a try. Um, so I'm here in my bathroom. I got my hair cut about two weeks ago. I'll probably get it cut in another two weeks. So we're kind of right in between haircuts and this is what it looks like when my hair is air dried. It's not horrible, but it's pretty flat in my opinion. Um, every morning when I wake up, I go to the bathroom and spray my hair with a spray bottle just to get it damp. And then I towel dry it, comb it straight, and then kind of just run my fingers through it a little bit to um, fluff it up a little bit. After my hair is towel dried and combed, I make my bed, get dressed, put on any makeup that I'm going to wear for the day, and by then my hair is totally dry. Uh, it takes maybe five minutes for my hair to dry when it's damp, which is one of the huge benefits of having short hair and then I'm ready to style it. And as you'll hopefully see by this video, it only takes me two to three minutes to style it each day. Uh, once it's dry, the first product I use is this got to be glued spiking wax. I use just a tiny little bit of that, run it through my hair, and then I use the got to be glued blasting freeze spray. Both of these are around $4 at the grocery store and they usually go on sale, buy one, get one free. And I, stock up then. A hairspray bottle like that will last me several months. The spiking wax will probably last maybe two months for me. So definitely pretty frugal. Um, in general, I do not spend much money on my hair besides a haircut every four to five weeks. And the amount of time and energy and effort I save having short hair is definitely worth a haircut for me every four to five weeks. So this right here is about as much of the spiking wax as I use for my whole head. Just kind of rub it together until it's on those fingers and then I just run it through my hair. I do not have a specific way of doing this. Um, definitely try to get the sides a little flatter. The top, if I want, I can kind of do the spiky look or I can have it down a little bit more if I want to look a little bit more conservative. Um, I usually kind of like it off my forehead because, I don't know, I just do. And once the style is how I like it, um, I'm not super picky, and I just spray it. And I'm done. Um, so, I don't know, I think that was potentially less than one minute, which is pretty good. And if it's super easy to play with, if I want to come back and do kind of a different style later in the day, I'll just kind of comb it out a little bit and maybe put a tiny bit more of the spiking wax in it and then more hairspray. Um, but otherwise, this will hold pretty much all day long and... It just stays looking like this because of the glued spray and it doesn't feel hard or gross. Um, it's really easy to wash out. I take a shower every night and sometimes just go to bed with my hair wet and as long as I just spray it in the morning um, and towel dry it and let it air dry, this is how long it takes to do my hair. So if you're contemplating short hair, I definitely think it's worth it in terms of the speed of your morning routine. I will say that I have relatively thick hair and it has quite a bit of body. Um, growing up I had really curly hair so that probably plays some sort of effect into how well it stays like that. But I know lots of people with thin hair and not as much body who totally rock the short hairstyle. So I'm an advocate of short hair. I've had it for nine years now after having super long hair for about 23 years, and I don't think I'm gonna go back anytime soon. So that is how I do my hair every morning. Thanks so much for watching.